Okay, sorry. Um, all right, so I was going to do a really fast video um, with a couple tips of what I did today. So I found another good deal on hamburger meat. So I bought um, a total of a little over six pounds. I feed five, basically five adults. So I need probably more meat than if you have a smaller family. So what I did is I used the same skillet. Hey, Roxanne. Um, same utensil. Hey, Rebecca. Um, for all three of these. And I thought I would get creative. And so I've got three different sloppy joe, I don't know what technically makes a sloppy joe a sloppy joe, um, recipes to go into my freezer. This was the first one that I put in the freezer. And so what it is basically is going to be Big Mac sloppy joes. Tip number one, always write on your bag, always write on your bag. And I say this and I'm laughing because this week or last week, I was digging through my freezers trying to straighten them out and I pulled out probably four bags of unknown items in my freezer bags that I put in there myself. And I told my husband, I said, I'm, I can't believe here, that's my number one tip and I'm not even following it. Number two, I did these while I was busy puttering around, doing other things. I like to utilize this when I can. Typically, I cut my bell peppers, my, I think this has pepper and celery and onion. I typically do all that, do it fresh. But when you're trying to get some things done, you don't want to chop all these onions up. That is a great saver. But they aren't the best at always getting out the pill. So um, just kind of keep an eye and you can pull that out. Tip number three, it doesn't have to be complicated. And I ran out of Worcestershire. I have no idea how to say it. Um, I think last week during my meal prep, which is funny because I'm prepping and don't have it. But anyway, so I just wrote on here that I need two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Um, so when I do make it, it's on here. So six pounds of hamburger meat, amazing deal. Instead of just storing it like I've got a bunch of the raw meat, I now have skillet meals already cooked. Just need, um, I need Worcestershire I hate that I don't even know how to say the word and I'm saying it like three times now. Sauce. This is, oh, I didn't say what this one is. This one is going to be Taco Sloppy Joe's. And I'm thinking of maybe adding some cheese to this or queso. I'm not sure. And the final one is when I just finished. Um, it is, uh, what am I calling it? Creamy Bacon Ranch Sloppy Joe's. And this needs the bacon. And what I will do for the bacon is what I typically always do because I'm cheap. Uh, I buy the real pre-cooked chopped bacon. I don't know what it's called. It's like two or three bucks. And I'll add that to this. Um, third tip, or no, fourth, who's counting? Um, make sure your meat is not hot. It needs to have cooled off. So if you're busy, you can do multiple skillets at once. I was not. I was doing other things so I could walk away. Put it in a bowl. And then, I did not, okay, this makes sense, gross people out, I did not wash this in between cooking my ground meat. I took, scraped it out, put it in a baggie, then dumped my next thing of hamburger meat in. Um, so it saved me time, but if you put, this is warm, but not hot. If you put hot meat in your bag, it will explode, will not explode. It will break and the contents will come out. So anyway, super quick. This is uh, hot weather is coming up. I just saw here that we're going to have June temperatures next week. Mother's Day is like 95 degrees. So having some pre -pre huh, prepared meat meals in my freezer um, from some good deals that I had, not really heating up the house, um, went, went all the way around. Anyway, my husband's about to pull in and... He acts awkward when I'm doing a video. Uh, that's it. I hope you're having a great week. Thanks for watching. Bye.